Turmoil in government circles, Auxilia Umningogwa's alleged misconduct sparks discontent. First Lady Auxilia Umningogwa's alleged combative behavior is causing widespread unease within government circles. According to sources close to the administration, numerous state actors, including cabinet ministers and security personnel, reportedly find it increasingly challenging to work with her. Senior government officials, speaking to Zimliv on condition of anonymity, described the First Lady as extremely abusive and bad-tempered, with accusations of her misusing state resources for personal travel and charity promotions. Some of those who have faced her abuse allege she has even resorted to physical violence and used inappropriate language towards police officers, aides, and high-ranking government officials. One senior official revealed. Comparisons are being drawn between Auxilia Uningagwa and former First Lady Grace Mugabe, whose erratic behavior contributed to political instability during her husband's tenure. Her behavior is far worse than that of Grace Mugabe in the twilight of her late husband's reign. It's unsettling that history seems to be repeating itself, another source commented. Witnesses to her conduct describe a pattern of insensitivity and disregard for others' rights. When those in positions of authority act with impunity and total disregard for the rule of law. The foundations of democracy and justice are threatened, one source said, emphasizing the need for respect and ethical conduct from those in influential positions. The calls for President Emerson Uningagwa to investigate his wife's behavior are growing. Some suggest using the intelligence network to get a clearer picture and take appropriate action. The First Lady, who is 61, is also accused of meddling in government affairs, including reportedly calling ministers and berating them. In 2019, she allegedly ordered the dismissal of former Herald editor Tikaona Zindoga, labeling him a snake in the carpet after he resisted her demands for prominent coverage of her activities. In 2020, ZBC's head of news and current affairs, Gilbert Nyambavu, reportedly faced similar treatment when he declined to run a story she favored. Summoned to a meeting with over a dozen men. Presumably state security, Nyambavu was subjected to a 20-minute tirade and subsequently reassigned before resigning. Recently, the First Lady allegedly demanded the removal of Jackie Gourmand as ZBC's acting head of news. Accusing her of giving Vice President Constantino Chiwenga's wife too much coverage. This incident is reportedly linked to internal power struggles within the ZANU PF government spokesman Dovaningi Mangwane dismissed these allegations, stating, There is no iota of truth in that story. The First Lady has nothing to do with the running of CBC. In a notable incident in 2019, Auxilia Umningagwa was forced to apologize to military chiefs after a recording of her berating Colonel Samson Murambo leaked. She accused the military of spying on her and plotting against her husband. The situation escalated to the Zimbabwe Defense Forces commander, General Philip Valerio Sibanda, prompting a high-level meeting where the First Lady ultimately apologized. As tensions rise, the government's ability to manage internal disputes and maintain stability is under scrutiny, with calls for a thorough investigation into the First Lady's conduct. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.